So Norma has a couple more paintings that she wanted to talk about. Norma, this little one that you just finished, can you tell us about that? Oh yes, this is, um, well, I'll, maybe it's not too obvious, but there are two little teddy bears kissing. And it's on, it's on what's called suede board. And most of the, uh, my favorite, the, fav the thing I would like to become most uh, proficient at, if that's the right word, is portraits on suede board, because I love doing portraits on suede board. Um, especially a, a dark, a darker blue suede board. I just finished a portrait of my son and his wife in San Francisco on, on uh, their trip to San Francisco. So this technique has a, it's a fuzzy look to it. Can well, that's a suede. It, it okay. looks, some people call it felt, felt or satin, but the bottom line is it's called suede board. So, you know, if you think of a suede jacket, then you'll rem it's easier, I think, to remember that this is a board with a like a a little type of a suede jacket finish. Okay. And feeling. what kind of paints do you use for this? This is pastel. Okay. Again, so on this you always use pastel. Pastels. So what's the level of difficulty of pastel, would you say? Is it quite easy to use? Oh, I love it. I love pastels on suede board. It, it seems to float along, especially with portraits. I feel like I can you know, I said somebody's how I loved it, and the person responded, well, you know, we all have blue blood running in our veins, so that's why it's so easy, or you get such a good feeling when you do your portraits on suede board. I never had that thought before, but that was his response. And then I wanted to talk about this one here. This is a reproduction. This is, oh, I can't remember what year it is, but I neither here nor there. But anyway, the bottom line was I just love, you know, the berries in the trees, and one day is out you know, shooting one of my neighbors, one of my friends, a berries in her trees, and I was just, just about took a whole roll of film, and I looked up in the sky, and there's these weird clouds up there, and they looked like they were soaring to earth, you know, right towards me, as if they were going to, you know, take me out of existence. And so this I, I, I did, and I tried to duplicate it twice, because I thought, you know, that was great fun, and I, and I have a message to say with it, because I, to me, it was, I'd never experienced, I never thought I saw a bird cloud in my whole life. And here, I, there's a whole pack of them soaring towards me. So I tried to duplicate this twice without success. So this is uh, uh, the original I will never release from my possession. And, uh, and so what this is the is, medium? The medium was, a, it's a watercolor. It's so long ago, I couldn't remember. But anyway, this but is one of my very favorite, and, and I have on my little name tag this in small because it's uh, probably one of my favorite pieces. Ah, oh, thank you, Norma. My pleasure.